Hi, my name's John Lentz. I'm a brown belt under Craig Jones, and this is Rolling Round New Zealand. Right guys, so the goal with this whole um, series of what I'm doing is I'm going to try and get from the South Island right up through the North Island and show as many gyms as I can. Um, what I'm trying to show off is the vibe of the gym, what you're about, what it's like going in there, and especially for anybody who's new starting Jiu Jitsu, you've never done it before, you've never seen it, and you're unsure and you don't know what to do going into these places and you're in different towns. By doing this, I'm hoping that I can show off your gym and we can show your vibe, show what you're about. And so these people that are on the fence, they'll come in and try your place out. And so guys, if you want to get amongst us, I've got the first three episodes coming out. And then if anybody else wants me to come into the gym to do this, please get in contact with me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm going to chuck this up on YouTube and start this channel. So let's uh, support the community and let's help it grow, bring Jiu Jitsu up, the whole community and the level in, in throughout New Zealand. So let's come along for the ride, guys. Woosh! G'day guys, so uh, thanks for watching episode one. Um, that was great, had a ton of fun at Ricky's gym um, and Wayne there at night MMA. Ricky running the jiu-jitsu out of there with the Carlson Gracie affiliate. Ton of fun, great roles, um, such great people, great fun family environment. Can't recommend it more so, please guys, if you're in Timaru, go check the place out. If you um, are calling through town, you're driving through there, definitely go check the place out. Can't recommend it more. Had a ton of fun, and he's always down to roll and have hard rolls, so I really hope they, they do really well as a whole gym. So this is second episode, guys. We're going to head down to Tamanawa Jiu-Jitsu, which is a Kai Terra affiliate, and we're going to head down there now, and I can't wait to check the place out, so uh, stay tuned for episode two, guys. Woos! guys so we're here um, episode number two at Team Manawa Jiu Jitsu here in Queenstown Kaiatera affiliate and we have Brent, Paula and Rodrigo yeah and so do you want to just explain the gym and then we'll pass it over and we'll go down the line so Brent um, you got the spot here when have you started the spot and what was your reason for um, starting up the gym and yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. we uh, we started the spot we've been down here since uh, the beginning of February so three and a bit months uh, we started the spot here, just uh, COVID happened and we used to travel a lot prior to that. So we wanted to, uh, we wanted to bring a bit of international jiu-jitsu to, to our small town in Queenstown. And I think we've been very lucky to achieve that with uh, Rodrigo on the mat. Yeah. And uh, you yeah, had a role today, so it's amazing you guys 
I wasn't used to, I don't wear the gear anymore and my God, I felt it today. Um, but just explain it, so with your timetable, you guys are doing gear and no gear, and yeah, just elaborate a bit on that. So. Yeah, we're, we're doing gear and no gear, uh, mainly gear at the moment, but um, to be honest, if someone is in the, uh, in the class and they want to roll a bit of no gear, we're more than happy to accommodate. We don't, uh, there's no hard and fast rule. And the open mats are always gear and no gear, you know, people are welcome to bring their gear yeah. and no gear. And also, so you, I've seen you guys have uh, massage therapy and also um, Pilates. So do you guys want to yeah. go Pilates and yoga, is it, as well? Yeah. So do you want to uh, go? Currently just Pilates. Um, yep. So I run that. Yep. I've got studio Pilates up there. Um, and we're going to operate a mat Pilates class. Going to do Pilates for BJJ. <laughs> so that should be good. Um, yeah, and I also run the kids' classes. And they do no gi as well as gi. If you're doing Pilates, how would that help your jiu-jitsu? Like if you were gonna... Um, so the Pilates, yeah. Yeah, we, I deal with strength and flexibility. So I build the strength around the joints as well as um, create the flexibility through our muscles. Yep. And um, I like to always, when I teach a class, have a stretch routine at the end to make sure that we're warming down correctly. But yeah, when I roll, I got that flexibility on my side. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah, I love flexibility. Yeah. <laughs> Save my life. Like, it does have the flexibility. Yeah, it's so. good. <laughs> and uh, Rodrigo, yourself, so um, just explain your story. So how um, you end up here in Queenstown, uh, it's pretty amazing because to have somebody of your level, that's amazing, and thanks so much for the role. Like, you just don't come across guys your thank level, you. and that's thank amazing. You. So thank you very much. But, um, yeah, just explain your story and how you ended up here, teaching out of here. So as I was looking for jobs in uh, Matamata, where it was, you know, like I came across this BJJ Ad, you know, on the, on, I don't even remember what site it was. And then I contacted these guys and they said, oh, come here, you know, let's meet and let's see what, what you are about and <laughs> what's your vision for jiu-jitsu. And we had a, you know, beautiful conversation and you know, we tried to roll a little bit. We didn't roll as much as we wanted to because the conversation was so good, but, you know, we <laughs> instantly connected in the way we view uh, jiu-jitsu, you know. So, and then they offered me to come and you know, it's been a great relationship ever since you know more goes beyond any kind of uh, work relationship as, as family i think that's what we try to provide here and you know, as a family environment and that you know goes into all aspects of the relationship that we have yeah. and did you want to just explain that because like people don't quite understand um that degree of because like i've been doing jiu-jitsu for a long time but to come across somebody because you do you want to explain your lineage and like you, so you're a fifth degree black belt which is insane because that's how many years so i've been training for 29 years now uh it's been quite a journey you know i started with my brother when i was 12 years old at the kids class and then uh, soon after that we moved into the u.s where he started uh, teaching jiu-jitsu was the very early stages in the u.s it was early 90s uh he went there before that but really started the gym in 94 in california before that he was teaching in indiana and it was the beginning of the ufc and you know the beginning of jiu-jitsu in the, in the world right i mean outside of brazil and uh, it was amazing. People would come to the gym and challenge us, and you know, like they did at the you know the Gracie challenges and all of yeah. all of that. It was very common in any jiu-jitsu gym for people, or the few jiu-jitsu gyms that existed back then, for people to come and oh, my martial art is better than yours. I want to challenge you for a for a fight. <clears throat> a lot of times, my brother was 15, 16 at the time. My brother would uh, have him fight me. So I fight my little brother. <laughs> we videotape it. Whoever wins gets the tape. If you win. Uh, we also fight me, you know, but otherwise you just get to fight my brother. Oh, <laughs> it's quite fun, you know, and to see the development of jiu-jitsu over the years in the U.S. from being a purple belt to having super fights, you know, at the same time that Hawkson, Hickson's son was a purple belt as well. He unfortunately passed away. But, uh, you know, many other guys that are now, you know, great, Dean Lister and other guys that, you know, made a life of jiu-jitsu. They were fighting at purple belt at that time. You know, again, super fights, you know, something that, you know, nobody cares about Poro Belts these days, right? Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I mean, not that they don't, but it's not a super fight sort of thing. They want to see the, not only black belts, but the top black belts fighting for it to become sort of a, a show. Uh, so it was amazing to see that, you know, and I think uh, this guy saw this in New Zealand, the same thing, because you started uh, Jiu-Jitsu in a time where Jiu-Jitsu didn't really exist here, and you saw the whole... Similar to what I saw in the US right. here in New Zealand. Yeah. yeah. And yourself yeah. as well, right? I mean, yeah, well, <coughs> I, yeah, talking to you before, amazing though, because like, I obviously don't put the key on anymore, but before, geez, when you grab that grip, it was just all over. So, yeah, amazing. And even though you're crazy, yeah, and what you guys are running here, and that, yeah, I fully respect that because it seems like such a good community. And so, with, with the gym, so 
going forward, um, just what's your goal? Where do you see it going? And what would your what would be your sort of like if you achieved a goal? What would it be? Uh, our goals are slightly different. Our goals aren't the gym isn't a business to us. Yep. Uh, whatever money we make out of it, we're going to sink back into. Um, the community and our people in the gym. Yeah. It's really important for us if we, um, the goal isn't to identify talent, but let's say we do identify young talent. Yeah. Um, it's very important to us to uh, get them overseas if that's the path they want to take, which in turn will um, will grow jujitsu in New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not until you get, yeah, yeah, when I was going overseas and then you sort of train with some people and you think you're, you know, going good and then you get overseas and you're yeah. like, whoa, you know, like there's another, <laughs> another level. level. And then for Rego, like bringing yourself over and then it inspires people as well. And then I think yeah, once they see it, they see that level and they're introduced to it, it, it lights a fire into some people and then yeah, you never know how you could affect somebody, you know what I mean? You come across people that have never started it. So what you guys are doing is amazing and like it blows my mind and, you know, you give this amazing facility and it's beautiful. And yeah, you guys should be really proud. It's cool, eh? And um, thanks so much for having me down here. And yeah, if you guys got anything else, so like how many days a week do you train? What's your timetable? Do you want to just talk about that so, in your address? Yeah, so I mean, our, our timetable is uh, six days a week, but our motto for the gym is that the, um, the gym is here for everybody. So if somebody wants to train, they just chuck a message out and someone will make an effort to be here to train with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and I also um, noticed that when you walk through the door, you guys supply geese, which is amazing. So you have mm. geese here for people to roll with. So like yeah. that's another big um, expense when you first start out, mm. um, that you're like, well, I've got to buy a gee, but at least you sort of uh, bridging that gap. So I'm mm. really impressed with that. I was like, well, when I walk through the door and you're handing out geese and all, oh, you want some shorts and stuff. So I think yeah, it's a great community and, and it's that uh, that extra step that sort of like helps people to get mm. them into the sport. So hundred percent impressed yeah. with that. Eh? So. Nice. Yeah. And these guys traveled a lot, not only to compete, but to train in different gyms. So yeah. there's a lot that they learned, you know, and I see that they didn't tell me, but just something you see as part of the gym, yeah. that there were good uh, parts of the gyms that they've been to and bad parts yeah. as well, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the hygiene here is simply amazing, you know, something that some, some gyms lack, uh, that, yeah. so, you know, and other things that were great about the gyms you brought into mm. here. So like a piece of every gym that you visit, I, I can sort of see it, you know, it's very clear not only in your techniques but the way you, you treat the gym and jiu jitsu as a pointed at me so. for techniques. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and it's it's amazing. Put these guys, you know, yeah. these guys are well, been travelling a lot to compete and very open to learning the art, which yeah. is something yeah. that especially yeah. when you reach a black belt level, brown belt at a higher level yeah. like yourself, you know, sometimes some people they think they know too much already, you know, and oh. And that's you when you never know enough. No, no, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's not enough. You feel like you have to be open minded. Yeah. You know, some of the yeah. best instructors I had were black belts have been training for a lifetime and they're still trying to understand what white belts, blue belts are doing and mm. trying to learn something from these guys, which I think is yeah. a big part of jujitsu. It's just like life, right? You think yeah. if you're better than anybody else, you're missing out on a whole bunch of good, good things, you know? Yeah. yeah, and even taking parts in the gym. Uh, we were looking at your Instagram and we noticed that you guys had the foot baths and then yeah. so Hayden, mm. uh, one of the instructors at our gym, he was like, oh, let's do this and so now we yeah, have the nice. foot baths because oh, yeah, yeah. it's hygiene because people don't yeah. realise that you step That's on right. the toilet or you go exactly. to the toilet, yeah. step on the mats, you put your face on it. Yeah. So like, right. yeah, we push hard on yeah. that and that was yeah. due nice. to you guys doing that. So yeah. you, you, you share the information, it makes yeah. everybody better. So you did right. And then, um, yeah, thanks so much because that's the other thing, you guys, all, everybody today um, was rolling with me. I didn't feel, you know, unwelcome at all. So thank you very much. And like, yeah, to yeah, come through and roll with yourselves and that. So mm. thank you very much. And yeah, yeah a very welcoming place, guys. So if you're in Queenstown, definitely 100% check it out. So what's your address here? Just so. Um, One, 103 Glenda Drive. Sweet, guys. So definitely 100% check it out. Instagram, Facebook, it's all on there. And um, even, yeah, look around the room, it's amazing. So. Thank you guys so much and yeah. Thank you, thank you for Cheers guys. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>